<laughs> we are going... Oh. All right, well, our presentation was um, the derivation of law of cosines. And, and we're missing Ariel. So... Okay. Okay, so... Here you have a triangle on a grid scale, so we may, we plotted points with it. And because we know sine is, or cosine is the x value, or y, yeah, x value, so which is the u. And then sine is the v value, we are able to get, oh, oops. Okay, well, to, the law of cosines is derived from the distance formula, so you use the distance formula. And then, now we're going to define what sine and cosine is. So like I said earlier, uh, cosine is the x va value, so u over b is equal to cosine a. And for this one, you can cross multiply, so you pretend there's a 1 underneath the cosine a, and you get u equals b cosine a. And then same thing with sine. Sine is the y value, and then you cross multiply, and you get v equals v sine a. And because we have a new value for v and u, we're able to plug those, um, like what they're equal to, into the equation. And then now we substitute. <clears throat> All right, so for um, the equation, you, you're, we can draw the equation, okay. Well, the equation, you have, like, um, u minus whatever, and so you would substitute the b cosine a for u, and then um, where you have the v minus zero in the second part of the equation, you would substitute the b sine a for the v. And now we solve. Okay, so here's our distance formula. Okay, now we're going to, like Megan said, substitute the values for v and u into the distance formula to get a squared equals b cosine a minus c squared plus b sine a minus 0 squared. Now we're going to calculate the squares and get a squared equals b squared cosine squared a minus b, b c cosine a plus c squared plus b squared sine squared a. Now we're going to factor the b squares out of the first and last terms to get a squared equals b squared cosine squared a plus sine squared a minus b, 2bc cosine a plus c squared. Hold on, are we supposed to not do this? And then, because we know cosine a plus sine squared a is equal to 1 because of the Pythagorean identities, we can factor one, in, or we can substitute one into the where cosine squared a plus sine squared a is. So then you get a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus two bc cosine a, and this is your law of cosines. What happened to the c squared? Oh wait, it was at the end, and then we moved it because we went in order of. That makes sense. Wait, no, we got one more. <laughs> <laughs> so, some common mistakes is to, you really need to take your time when you factor. You need to substitute correctly. And the law of cosine doesn't prove the Pythagorean theorem. I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> <laughs>